here in this question we have one table is there the table name itself is payment table now the query is so what will the output of the following query the query is select location comma count of payment id as count from payment where so with the help of to care function for the payment date we are retrieving the month we are retrieving the month name here the month names are jan feb march like that we are having month names so we can retrieve the month name from the payment id with the help of to care function and if the month name is equivalent to jan so at that time we need to group by with the location with the help of location we need to group by all the records and we need to identify the location which is having the month name is jan and having the sum amount is so you will get some sum amount which is equivalent to some other query is available so here for the equal to we have left hand side is there right hand side is there now let me try to analyze the right hand side query first now what is the right hand side query all of you please observe select max of sum of the amount from the payment from the payment table where with the help of to care function we are retrieving the month name from the payment date and if the month name is equivalent to jan and that too with the help of group by function group by so we are trying to group the all the locations so first we need to group all the locations try to apply the group by class in order to group all the locations now here totally let me try to take the groups so hostan is the first group how many times it is occurring one two and as well as here also it is available it is occurring three times now the second group is new york as per the location try to check how many times it is occurring so it is also comes under the second group here also it is comes under the second group new york is occurring more than nearly one two three four five it is occurring five times what about the chicago let me try to take the chicago location it is occurring one time and second time total it is occurring two times now the remaining the remaining locations are phoenix it is only occurring only one time so it is the fourth group and the last group is boston so totally five groups are there as per the locations the first group is boston second group is new york and the third group is chicago and the fourth group is phoenix and the last group is boston now group by location completed totally we are getting five groups now here what is the query try to evaluate it so we need to calculate the sum of the amount from the each and every group where so the condition is the month of the each and every the month of the each and every payment date is equivalent to jan try to check it in the first group if you are going to consider the first group so in the first group what are the dates that are available so we are getting two dates why because the first group in the first group we are getting two records in these two records try to check the month name if the month name is equivalent to jan so actually the first group is occurring more than two times it is occurring three times now try to uh, check it so totally three payments dates are there with respect to, to the first group now out of all the three payment dates try to check in which payment date the month is equivalent to jan so in the first payment date the month is equivalent to jan you can consider it in the second payment date the month is not at all equivalent to jan so we should not consider it try to ignore it and in the third in the third payment date with respect to, to the first group the month name is jan we can consider it now as per the month name is jan we are getting two amounts so we need to omit it we need to we need to ignore the month name february why because in the where condition from the payment date we need to consider the month which is equivalent to jan so here the month is february that's why we are ignoring it now as per the first group just we are getting two records which are having the month name which is matching with the january now try to calculate the calculate the sum of the amount what is the sum of the amount 80 plus 60 80 plus 60 in the sense you will get 140 
Now for the first group, the sum of the amount that we are getting is 40. As per the given where condition, where the payment date related month is equivalent to Jan. Yes, the payment month is equivalent to Jan. In that month equivalent to Jan, the amount is 80 and 60. So the total amount is 140. Now coming to the second group. So in the second group also, try to identify what are the dates that are available for the second group. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Totally 5 dates are there. Why? Because second group is occurring 5 times. Now in these 5 dates, try to check it. In which month we are having the month name is Jan. So here Jan is available here. You can consider it. Next, uh, February is available here. We should not consider it. Why? Because in the where class, the month is not at all equivalent to Jan. So we need to ignore it. Next, here we are getting March. We need to ignore it. Next, here also we are getting March. We need to ignore it. And in the last record, which is belonging to second group, the month name is equivalent to Jan. So that we can consider it. Now in the second group, the total summation of the amount is 40 and 50 with respect to, to the month name is Jan. Now to 40 plus 50, we are getting 90. 90 is the value for the second group, the summation of the month. So the summation of the amount is 90. Now try to consider the third group. So in the third group, we are getting two dates. And the two dates are having the month name Jan. So that the summation of the two dates are 40 plus 40. 40 plus 40, 80. For the third month, the sum of the amount is 80. What about the fourth month? So, uh, what about the fourth group? In the fourth group, so we are having only one record. In that record, the month name is John. We need to consider it. So, here we are getting 60. For the fourth group, we are getting 60. And for the fifth group, only one record is available. And But unfortunately, in that record, the month name is not at all equivalent to John. We need to ignore it. Now, totally four groups are having sum amount and out of all the four groups we need to identify the maximum sum amount so the maximum sum amount for the group is first group now here the maximum sum amount is 140 up to here after completion of the successful evaluation of the right hand side query we are getting 140 is the result till now for this query we are getting 140 is the result now try to evaluate the left hand side query so what is the left hand side query select the location we need to identify the location comma count of payment id we need to count the payment ids as a count from the payment where so to care with the help of to care function from the payment id if the month name is equivalent to jan we need to consider it and here also we are using group by class so with the help of group by location itself only so with the help of location itself only so which is having the sum amount is equivalent to the right hand side query as we already knew that so the sum amount which is equivalent to right hand side query which we are getting in the location how's that try to check it now so try to calculate it so but group by location the first location itself is host so in the host so we are getting three dates john first john 15 15th february 15th 31st john 15th so we need to ignore 15th february 15th why because here the month name is february and we need to match it with john it is not at all matching that's why we are ignoring it now try to calculate the sum amount from this available two dates in the first group so 80 plus 60 80 plus 60 in the sense you will get 140 so the 140 amount is equivalent to the right hand side query so that here the location name that we are going to get here is Ostan and as well as try to count the payment ids payment ids so the payment ids are we are getting one and as well as for this particular date we are getting two totally two payments ids are there with respect to, to the location host 
so with respect to, to this two payment ids only we are getting the summation of the amount 80 plus 60 140 which is equivalent to the right hand side query so that's why now for this question so we need to identify the location host on with the count is the payment id count is 2 so with respect to, to the two payment id dates only we are calculating the summation and which is equivalent to the right hand side query now out of all the four options the right option is first option that's it now let me try to go to the next question so in the next question so we have the payment table is available and here the query is we need we need average payment amount for each payment mode so for each payment mode we need to find out the average average payment amount we need to find out the average payment amount for each payment mode that have average payment mode more than 45 sorted by the average payment amount so that the largest payment amount appears first so largest amount payment is appeared first in a sense we need to uh, order it by descending order within the descending order only we will get the largest element first and the remaining all the elements are occurring one by one so definitely ordered by the descending, descending we need to use it in order to get the largest payment occurring first so which of the following queries meet the requirement so totally four queries are there so in that all the four queries we need to identify the right query so just read the question one more time we need average payment amount for each payment mode first what is the each payment mode totally how many payment modes are there payment modes are so try to consider so one one so this is one payment mode next credit card is another payment mode two 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 it is nearly occurring more than one two three four five it is occurring nearly five times debit card is the another payment mode third group one two three it is occurring three times online banking is the fourth payment mode it is occurring two times now we need we need average payment amount for each payment mode average payment amount for each payment mode in the sense so first we need to calculate the average amount for the each payment mode for the first payment let me try to take the color so 80 plus 70 80 plus 70 150 150 by 2 in the sense you will get 75 is the average amount and as well as so that means for the first group we are getting 75 75 is the average amount for the second group let me try to take another color 40 20 60 60 50 try to calculate the summation of all the elements 40 plus 20 60 60 plus 60 120 120 plus 60 180 plus 50 230 230 by 1 2 3 4 5 5 elements so 230 by 5 in the sense nearly you will get 46 now the second group as per the second group credit card so we are getting the average amount is 46 what about the third group so the third group is debit card with respect to, to the debit card so one two three it is occurring three times one two three now 40 plus 40 80 80 plus 10 90 90 by 3 in the sense three times it is occurring 90 by 3 in the sense 30 for the third group we are getting the average amount is 30 next what about the fourth group fourth group is occurring 1 60 2 30 so 60 plus 30 again we are getting 40 only fourth group is occurring only one two two times only so 60 plus 30 90 90 by 2 in the sense you will get 45 fourth group we are getting 45 now these are the average amounts that we are getting with respect to, to the each and every payment mode now the next one is that 
have average payment amount more than 45 so that have average amount more than 45 sorted by average payment amount so that the largest payment amount appears first so here we need to sort them in the descending order which of the following queries meet the requirement very simple here all of you please observe so we need to have the order by descending order in which option we are having order by descending order so in the first option we are having order by descending order in the third option we are having order by descending order so remaining two options we can ignore them why because the reason is so here we need to print the largest amount first so after that we need to get the remaining all the amounts that means we need to print the elements in the decreasing order for the decreasing order we need to consider ordered by decreasing ordered by decreasing but here out of all the four options already we have eliminated second option and as well as fourth option now try to identify the right option from the one and three in the one so ordered by average descending so try to read the uh, statements carefully select payment mode comma average amount from payment where average amount greater than 45 group by payment mode ordered by so no there is no proper order in the query try to read the third query select payment mode comma average amount from the payment group by payment mode having the average amount greater than 45 ordered by average amount in the descending order now c is the right option in order to convert this entire theory into the query so c is the right option so try to read it one more time so that you will get the clarity select payment mode comma average amount from the payment group by payment mode having the average amount which is greater than 45 and we need to print it ordered by average amount in the descending order so the right option is c option i hope with this you got the complete idea thank you thank you one another.